Welcome ulit sa ating channel mga katulay sa tagumpay. Ang video ito ay isang 30 items reviewer, part 1 para sa fire officer examination tungkol sa definition of terms na ginagamit sa Bureau of Fire Protection na dapat mong malaman. Walang garantiya kung lalabas ang mga tanong na ito sa mismong aktual na exam. Ito ay gabay lamang at dagdag kaalaman sa atin na mga nagre-review para mas mataas ang chance natin na makapasa sa darating na pagsusulit. Kung di nyo pa napapanood ang mga nauna pa nating mga video ay huwag mag-alala dahil nasa taas lang ng video ito ang mga link para doon. Hali kayo at simulan na natin ang pagre-review. 1. What is abatement in fire safety? A. Any act that increases a fire hazard. B. Any act that neutralizes a fire hazard. C. Any act that enhances a fire hazard. D. Any act that monitors a fire hazard. Correct answer. B. Any act that neutralizes a fire hazard. Explanation. Abatement refers to actions taken to remove or neutralize fire hazards, reducing the risk of fire incidents. 2. Who is an administrator in the context of building management? A. Property owner's legal advisor. B. Owner's representative managing the building. C. Tenant overseeing building maintenance. D. Architect responsible for building design. Correct answer. B. Owner's representative managing the building. Explanation. An administrator acts as the agent of the owner and manages the use of a building on their behalf. 3. What is an aircraft service station? A. A station for flight reservations. B. A station for aircraft maintenance. C. A station for refueling and storing flammable liquids. D. A station for baggage handling. Correct answer. C. A station for refueling and storing flammable liquids. Explanation. An aircraft service station is a facility at an airport where flammable liquids are stored or dispensed, including essential facilities like underground tanks. 4. What is, alligatoring, or, alligator pattern, in fire investigation? A. A pattern resembling snake scales found in burned areas. B. A pattern resembling the skin of an alligator, often found in burned wood. C. A pattern resembling tiger stripes in burned materials. D. A pattern resembling fish scales found in charred surfaces. Correct answer. B. A pattern resembling the skin of an alligator, often found in burned wood. Explanation. Alligatoring refers to a burned pattern, usually seen on wood, resembling the skin markings of an alligator. It is often used in fire investigation to trace the fire's origin. 5. What defines an assembly occupancy? A. Use of a building for private residential purposes. B. Use of a building for commercial activities. C. Use of a building for various social or recreational purposes by groups of people. D. Use of a building for industrial manufacturing. Correct answer. C. Use of a building for various social or recreational purposes by groups of people. Explanation. Assembly occupancy refers to the use of a building or structure by a group of people for civic, political, educational, religious, social, amusement, or recreational purposes. 6. What are atoms in chemistry? A. The smallest particles of matter. B. The smallest particles of compounds. C. The smallest particles of elements participating in a chemical reaction. D. The smallest particles of molecules. Correct answer. C. The smallest particles of elements participating in a chemical reaction. Explanation. Atoms are the smallest particles of elements that participate in chemical reactions, combining to form molecules. 7. What is an automatic fire suppression system? A. A system of manual firefighting equipment. B. A system of underground or overhead piping connected to a source of extinguishing agent, activated automatically by a detecting device. C. A system of fire alarms only. D. A system of fire-resistant building materials. Correct answer. B. A system of underground or overhead piping connected to a source of extinguishing agent, activated automatically by a detecting device. Explanation. An automatic fire suppression system consists of piping connected to a source of extinguishing agent, designed to suppress fires within an area when activated automatically by detection devices. 8. What is a blasting agent? A. A material used for building demolition. B. A material used to set off explosives. C. A material used for creating fireworks. D. A material used for nuclear reactions. Correct answer. B. A material used to set off explosives. Explanation. 
A blasting agent is any material or mixture consisting of a fuel and oxidizer used to set off explosives. 9. What is the boiling point of a liquid? A. The temperature at which a liquid melts. B. The temperature at which a liquid freezes. C. The temperature at which a liquid changes its state from liquid to gas. D. The temperature at which a liquid changes its state from gas to liquid. Correct answer. C. The temperature at which a liquid changes its state from liquid to gas. Explanation. The boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid equals the external pressure, causing the liquid to change into a gas. 10. What is a cargo tank? A. A tank used for transporting cargo by sea. B. A tank used for storing cargo in warehouses. C. A container mounted on a tank vehicle used for carrying flammable or combustible liquids. D. A container used for transporting cargo by air. Correct answer. C. A container mounted on a tank vehicle used for carrying flammable or combustible liquids. Explanation. A cargo tank is any container mounted on a tank vehicle with a capacity of at least 450 liters, used for carrying flammable or combustible liquids, excluding the fuel tank of a motor vehicle. 11. What is cellulose nitrate or nitrocellulose? A. A highly combustible and explosive compound produced by the reaction of nitric acid with a cellulose material. B. A fire retardant material used in building construction. C. A type of plastic used in electrical insulation. D. A type of cellulose used in textile manufacturing. Correct answer. A. A highly combustible and explosive compound produced by the reaction of nitric acid with a cellulose material. Explanation. Cellulose nitrate, also known as nitrocellulose, is a highly combustible and explosive compound produced by the reaction of nitric acid with a cellulose material. 12. What is cellulose nitrate plastic pyroxylin? A. A plastic material derived from petroleum. B. A plastic substance made from recycled cellulose. C. Any plastic substance, material, or compound having cellulose nitrate as a base. D. A plastic material used for electrical insulation. Correct answer. C. Any plastic substance, material, or compound having cellulose nitrate as a base. Explanation. Cellulose nitrate plastic, also known as pyroxylin, refers to any plastic substance, material, or compound having cellulose nitrate nitrocellulose, as a base. 13. Who is the chief of the local fire service? A. The highest ranking firefighter in the country. B. The head of the local police department. C. The official designated to lead the local fire service. D. The mayor of the city or municipality. Correct answer. C. The official designated to lead the local fire service. Explanation. The chief of the local fire service is the official duly designated to head the local fire service, responsible for overseeing fire prevention, firefighting, and rescue operations within the jurisdiction. 14. What defines a Class A fire? A. Fire involving electrical equipment. B. Fire involving combustible metals. C. Fire involving ordinary combustible materials such as wood, cloth, and paper. D. Fire involving flammable liquids and gases. Correct answer. C. Fire involving ordinary combustible materials such as wood, cloth, and paper. Explanation. Class A fire involves ordinary combustible materials like wood, cloth, paper, rubber, and plastics, which can be extinguished with water or other common firefighting agents. 15. What defines a Class B fire? A. Fire involving electrical equipment. B. Fire involving combustible metals. C. Fire involving ordinary combustible materials. D. Fire involving flammable liquids and gases. Correct answer. D. Fire involving flammable liquids and gases. Explanation. Class B fire involves flammable liquids, such as gasoline, oil, and gases, such as propane, which require special extinguishing agents like foam or dry chemical. 16. What defines a Class C fire? A. Fire involving electrical equipment. B. Fire involving combustible metals. C. Fire involving ordinary combustible materials. D. Fire involving flammable liquids and gases. Correct answer. A. Fire involving energized electrical equipment. Explanation. Class C fire involves energized electrical equipment, such as wiring, appliances, and electrical machinery, where the primary hazard is electrical shock rather than combustion. 17. What defines a Class D fire? A. Fire involving electrical equipment. 
b fire involving combustible metals c fire involving ordinary combustible materials d fire involving flammable liquids and gases correct answer b fire involving combustible metals such as magnesium sodium potassium and similar materials explanation class d fire involves combustible metals which require special extinguishing agents designed to exclude oxygen and cool the metal 18. what is a combination standpipe a a pipe system for supplying water to a building for firefighting purposes b a pipe system filled with water connected to a constant water supply for firefighting use c a pipe system used for both water supply and drainage in a building d a pipe system installed for irrigation purposes correct answer b a pipe system filled with water connected to a constant water supply for firefighting use explanation a combination standpipe is a pipe system filled with water and connected to a constant water supply intended for use by both the fire service and building occupants for firefighting purposes 19. what is a combustible fiber loose house a a warehouse for storing combustible fibers b a manufacturing facility for processing combustible fibers c an isolated structure where loose fibers are worked upon and stored d a storage facility for non-combustible fibers correct answer c an isolated structure where loose fibers are worked upon and stored explanation a combustible fiber loose house is an enclosed and isolated structure where loose fibers are worked upon and used as storage for such fibers 20. how are combustible fibers defined a fibers used for insulation in buildings b fibers that easily catch fire and burn freely c fibers resistant to fire and heat d fibers used in the production of fire resistant clothing correct answer b fibers that easily catch fire and burn freely explanation combustible fibers are any readily ignitable and free burning fibers such as cotton oakum rags waste cloth waste paper kapok hay straw spanish moss excelsior and similar materials commonly used in commerce 21. what does the term combustible flammable or inflammable describe a materials that are difficult to ignite b materials that resist combustion c materials that easily catch fire d materials that are fireproof correct answer c materials that easily catch fire explanation combustible flammable or inflammable are terms used to describe materials that are easily set on fire indicating their susceptibility to ignition and combustion 22. how is a combustible liquid defined a any liquid with a flash point below 37.8 degrees celsius 100 degrees fahrenheit b any liquid with a flash point above 37.8 degrees celsius 100 degrees fahrenheit c any liquid that does not evaporate d any liquid used in industrial processes correct answer b any liquid with a flash point above 37.8 degrees celsius 100 degrees fahrenheit explanation a combustible liquid is defined as any liquid having a flash point at or above 37.8 degrees celsius 100 degrees fahrenheit indicating that it requires heat to ignite 23. what is combustion a the process of cooling down a substance b the process of condensing a gas into a liquid c the process of converting a solid into a gas d the process of burning a substance resulting in the release of heat and light correct answer d the process of burning a substance resulting in the release of heat and light explanation combustion is the chemical process of burning a substance typically involving rapid oxidation accompanied by the release of heat and light 24. what defines a corrosive liquid a a liquid that causes rust b a liquid that causes fire on contact with organic matter or certain chemicals c a liquid used for cleaning purposes d a liquid that has a high boiling point correct answer b a liquid that causes fire on contact with organic matter or certain chemicals explanation a corrosive liquid is any liquid that causes fire when in contact with organic matter or certain chemicals often causing severe burns or corrosion 25. what is crazing of glass in fire investigation a the formation of cracks due to mechanical stress b the formation of irregular cracks in glass due to rapid intense heat possibly when an accelerant is used c the melting of glass at high temperatures 
D. The expansion of glass due to freezing. Correct answer. B. The formation of irregular cracks in glass due to rapid intense heat, possibly when an accelerant is used. Explanation. Crazing of glass refers to the formation of irregular cracks in glass surfaces, often seen in forensic investigations after exposure to rapid, intense heat, possibly indicating the use of accelerants in a fire. 26. What does, cryogenic, describe, a. A material that produces heat. B. A material that rapidly raises the temperature of its surroundings. C. A material that produces a rapid drop in temperature of the immediate surroundings. D. A material resistant to temperature changes. Correct answer. C. A material that produces a rapid drop in temperature of the immediate surroundings. Explanation. Cryogenic describes any material that, by its nature or as a result of its reaction with other elements, produces a rapid drop in temperature of the immediate surroundings, typically below minus 150 degrees Celsius, minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit. 27. What is a curtain board in fire protection? A. A vertical panel installed to divide a room into separate compartments. B. A board used for blocking windows during a fire. C. A board used for hanging curtains in a theater. D. A board used for ventilation purposes in a building. Correct answer. A. A vertical panel of non-combustible or fire-resistive materials attached to an extending below the bottom cord of roof trusses, to divide the underside of the roof into separate compartments so that heat and smoke will be directed upwards to a roof vent. Explanation. A curtain board is a vertical panel made of non-combustible or fire-resistive materials, installed below the roof trusses to divide the underside of the roof into compartments, directing heat and smoke towards roof vents during a fire. 28. What is a damper in fire protection? A. A device used to control the flow of water in a sprinkler system. B. A device used to control the flow of air in a ventilation system. C. A device used to control the spread of fire in an air duct system. D. A device used to measure the intensity of heat in a room. Correct answer. C. A normally open device installed inside an air duct system, which automatically closes to restrict the passage of smoke or fire. Explanation. A damper in fire protection is a normally open device installed inside an air duct system, which automatically closes in the event of a fire to restrict the passage of smoke or fire through the ductwork. 29. What is the depth of char used for in-fire investigation? A. To measure the thickness of building materials. B. To determine the length of burn, thereby locating the point of origin of fire. C. To estimate the temperature of the fire. D. To assess the structural damage caused by the fire. Correct answer. B. To determine the length of burn, thereby locating the point of origin of fire. Explanation. The depth of char refers to the depth of burning wood or other materials, which can be used in fire investigation to determine the length of burn and help locate the point of origin of the fire. 30. What is a dip tank used for in industrial processes? A. A tank for storing water for firefighting purposes. B. A tank used for storing hazardous chemicals. C. A tank used for immersion coating, finishing, or treating materials with flammable or combustible liquids. D. A tank used for disposing of industrial waste. Correct answer. C. A tank used for immersion coating, finishing, or treating materials with flammable or combustible liquids. Explanation. A dip tank is a container of flammable or combustible liquid in which articles or materials are immersed for coating, finishing, treating, or similar processes, commonly used in industrial settings. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood mga katulay sa tagumpay. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share at mag-subscribe sa ating channel para lagi kayong updated sa mga susunod pa nating mga video. Sana ay may natutunan kayo at nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo. Good luck at maraming salamat ulit mga katulay sa tagumpay.